Right, little man, so what have we got today? You guys are toys! Yeah, we've got what we think might be a full set of the new Jurassic Park World Hasbro toys. We go from left to right, we start with, can you remember what this guy's called? Stegoceratops. 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 And we've got Velociraptor Delta. Velociraptor Delta. We've got T-Rex. And we've got Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus. We've got Velociraptor Echo. Echo. We've got the invented dinosaur in Dominus Rex, that's the biggest one. We've got, who's this guy? Pteranodon. Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus. Another Indominus Rex. Velociraptor Charlie. And a little T Rex. Okay, so who are we doing first? Spinosaurus. Spinosaurus, yeah. So it looks like he's got a chomping attack with his tail. On the back, a few more details, nothing too exciting. Right, let's get him out. Here he is. And here he is. And there he is, right. So, his legs move. Yep, and he can do this. Go on, can you do his tail? That's meant to be a jumping action. I'm not sure he's, you'd think his mouth would open. No. But his mouth does open. And he's got a cut on him there. He must have been attacked by Indominus Rex. And there we go, there's the other side. It looks quite a scary thing. Got some big claws. Yeah, and there he is. Right, should we do another one? Does he stand up? Hang on, let's just... Ah, uh, he does stand up, sort of. Bit of a strange one. Right, which one next? Right, so this is Indominus Rex versus the Gyrosphere, which look like the new little... The equivalent of the jeeps in the first film. Instead of the jeeps, they've got these little orb things or spheres that they travel around in. So he's got some sort of damage where you can press this thing and it flips back. That looks cool. There's you've got a little soldier for inside the orb. And uh, there's the back, nothing much going on. And Back to the front, right, should we get him open? Yeah! Okay, so there's the Indominus Rex versus the Gyrosphere. Um, we get the big Indominus Rex, so he's bigger than the Spinosaurus, and he's got a chump. Do you want to try that, little man? All right, it's cool that, isn't it? And his arms move, and his legs move, and if you touch that, can you touch that? Push that in. And there you go. Looks like he's got some battle damage. How did he get battle damage? He must have been fighting with the gyrosphere. Right, so there's Indominus Rex versus the gyrosphere. He must, he must be fighting with that guy. Yeah, and here's, here's the gyrosphere. So, it's quite a cool little thing. Um, it's got a slot on the top, which is a gun. Oh, uh, and can you press that button? That. There you go. And this this crack opens up, and the seats come out the side. And he also comes with this little figure, who you can put inside the gyrocopter. He doesn't quite sit on the seat properly, but 
he's in there anyway. Press the top like that. Oh, and and it did for that. kicks out. <laughs> so there is the gyro sphere and the Indominus Rex toy. Right, should we do another one? Yeah. Right, okay, so next up we've got the, what is this? Can you remember? Five year old. It's plus four, yeah, plus four. and it's the Pteranodon versus the helicopter. So we've got the Pteranodon here, we've got the helicopter, we've got another little soldier, and it looks like we've got a missile for the helicopter in there. Uh, on the back, nothing much going on there. This guy's got some damage, like the um, Indominus Rex. And there we go, right. Let's get him open. Okay, so there we go. We've got the Pteranodon. He flaps his wings. Looks like quite a scary thing. Look at how big his beak is. Or his mouth. And then on the front, he's got a little flap like the like the Pteranodon. Uh, like the Indominus Rex. You touch that, and he's got his damage. It's not very, it's a bit gruesome, isn't it, for four year olds? You can see his ribs and things. But there you go, that's it anyway. Ooh. Build quality of these toys isn't quite that great. So there's a the trend on. Got a little soldier, and the helicopter. Do you want to put the missile in? Oh! That was quite cool. So we've got the rotor blades. They separate out and click. And this cab, oh yeah, this cab does open so we can get the pilot. And put him in the helicopter. That's cool, isn't it? Or maybe, oh no, it doesn't fit. Do we have to get his arms up? There we go. Pilot's gone in. And the blades turn like that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And there's a Jurassic Park World symbol on the side. Right, that's that one. Should we do another? Okay, so next up we've got... What type of dinosaur is this? A raptor. A raptor, yeah. A velociraptor. And this one's called Echo, so they must have multiple characters in the film. So, nothing much going on on the front. And on the back, picture and some warnings. Right, let's get him open. And there he is. I don't think these guys do much. They've got movable arms. And no, his head's stiff. And his legs are pretty much there, no, there, no movement there. So this is just your basic dinosaur figure that doesn't have any little gimmicks or anything. Um, but he's quite cool, looks quite vicious, doesn't he? Looks like he's shouting really loud. But yeah, that's basically it for that one. Should we do the next one? <laughs> Let's do the next one. Right, so this is Velociraptor Delta. We might as well get through all the Velociraptors first. Um, so yeah, same again. Velociraptor Delta. Nothing much going on on the back. Should we get him open? And there he is. Again, he moves his arms. Doesn't move his face or his mouth or his tongue. And his legs are stiff as well, so he's just another figure to play with. Do you think he's cool? Yeah, he's, he's cool. He's still cool, isn't he? Right, and that's about it for him. Let's do Velociraptor Charlie. He's a green one, this guy, isn't he? They're all different colours. Yellow, green and brown. So, same again, nothing really going on the front. Picture and warnings on the back. Let's have a look. There's Velociraptor Charlie. He doesn't do anything either, and this guy doesn't even stand up. He won't even stand up, not even on a perfectly flat table. It's not very good that, is it? 
too top heavy and his head doesn't move so we can't even adjust him to make him stand up. That's rubbish that is. That's really bad. Okay, so now we're on to Stegoceratops. Now this, to me, is a made of dinosaur. I think it is, isn't it? Because it's a mix between the Stegosaurus and the Triceratops. Uh, but yeah, here we go. So we've got the horns and we've got the spines on the back. Looks look quite cool and the pointy tail. So normal dinosaurs aren't quite exciting enough, so they've invented a new one. Um, there's a the front and this guy's got a a butting action with his tail. Okay, so nothing much happening on the front, on the back. And there we go, picture of him. And they've all got battle damage. Right, let's get him open. And there's your Stegoceratops. Looks quite cool. He's got his Jurassic Park world symbol on the side and his thing that he does is you pull his tail down and he puts his head. He does look like a good one. Quite cool isn't he? He looks quite silly. I've never seen one of them before that eh? No, he's made up dinosaur I think. Right, and there we go. And his, did his legs move? His legs move. And there he is. And put his leg down. Yeah, so there's the Stegoceratops. Right, next one now. So this is a real dinosaur. This is, can you remember what this guy's called? Yeah, Ankylosaurus. he is. And he's got another butting action, I think, or Move his tail or move his leg. Ah, oh, there we go, you move his back leg and he puts his head out. So, that's the front. There's the back, he's got a little hole in the back so you can test his butting action. And some warnings of the picture. And right, let's get him open. So, there he is. Got some damage there. Big seal up there, and he's got his tail. Oh wow, his tail! Look at his tail, little man. Flicks. He's got a flicky tail, and if you pull this leg, he puts his head. That's quite cool, isn't it? And there we go, the Ankylosaurus. Right, should we do another one? And now which one should we do next? Right, let's do the little T-Rex next. And then we've saved the big guys until last. Right, so here's Tyrannosaurus Rex. He's got a chomping action when you waggle his tail. And there's the back with some pictures and some warnings. Right, let's get him open. Right, so there's T-Rex. He's got his Jurassic Park world symbol there. He's got some damage. And I think if we move his tail, there we go, move his tail and he does a bit of a chomp. His little arms move and his legs move and hopefully this guy, he does stand up, he uses his tail to stand up. It's quite cool. So that's the little T-Rex. Should we open the next one? So this is the second biggest one we've got and it's a big T-Rex. Um, he comes in the box with his tail removed so we'll have to click that in. And he's got a button on the top. Which gives him a good, that's a good chomping action, look at that, that looks yeah. cool. Do you want to try? That's the front. So on the back, not really got much going on. Picture, chomping jaws and loads of warnings. Right, should we get him open? Mm-mm, rush place. Right, okay, so this is the larger T-Rex. He's you know? got a big long tail. Oh, Ooh. he's not very stable either. He's got little arms that he can move. 
and he's got a ginormous jumping action. I think. Daddy, mm -hmm. Daddy, stop pressing it. Stop pressing it. <laughs> it's in my finger. Is it in your finger? <laughs> <laughs> right, so there he is, and that's what he does. He's got a button on the top, and that makes him chomp. And that's the T Rex. There he is. And that's it. So there's the T-Rex. Right, and now we've got to save the biggest one to last. So we've got the big Indominus Rex coming up and he takes batteries. So we'll have to see if we can get his batteries in. Okay, so here's the Indominus Rex. He's got lights and sounds apparently. So it should be quite exciting this one. Do you think, little man? Yeah. You don't sound excited. Yeah. Yeah. And him, if you twist his arm, he does a big roar. And hopefully that big roar will make a big sound when we put his batteries in. Right, so that's him on the front. On the back, there's another picture and some lights and things and velociraptors. Back to the front. Right, should we get him open? Yes, please. Okay, so here's the giant Indominus Rex, and you can see his back's glowing a little bit, and if you pull his arms down, he should do a big roar. But this isn't working either. Oh, there we go. Right, turn the lights off and see if we can see his back glowing. So, let's have a look. <laughs> it changed colour. What are you doing? It changed colour. Arms! Arms! Wow, it's cool isn't it? He looks like a pretty yeah, gruesome a go. guy. Go on then. <laughs> Should we get them all lined up and see what they yeah! look like? Okay, so that's what we think is a full set of the Jurassic Park World toys. We've got an absolutely load of these dinosaurs and they're all really cool. Some of them don't quite work as they should, but they are still pretty cool toys. Um, in the middle we've got the big guy who's going to be the star of the film, we think, uh, Indominus Rex. He's the only one with lights and sounds. The other ones have chomping actions and some of them are just plastic figures. So what did you think of these toys, little man? Great! So we're going to play with them today? Yeah. Alright, that sounds yeah. cool. Okay, so there we go. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, if there's any more of these toys released, we'll get them and um, do some more videos. So please subscribe if you want to see those. Do some more Yeah, and thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye! bye, -bye.